I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric equations. We will discuss basic concept to solve trigonometric equations in this particular video. I will take up two examples. Here is the very first one. The second will be for you to practice. We need to solve the equation sine 2x equals to half when x is between 0 to 2 pi. Now what you need to remember here is few basic things. We are looking for sine to be positive. That means we are looking for solutions in two quadrants. Correct? You know, all are positive in quadrant 1. Sine is positive in quadrant 2. Tan is positive in quadrant 3. And cosine is positive in quadrant 4. So when we are given that sine 2x is positive, so we mean we have two solutions, right? So we have these two solutions. We have solution in quadrant 1 and also in quadrant 2. In both the quadrants, sine is positive. That is one thing which you should know, right? So this is first thing which you should know. Second, When we are looking for values like 1 over 2, that reminds us of a special triangle, right? So, I'll sketch the special triangle here for you. Whenever you are solving trigonometric equations, keep in mind these special triangles. We'll work with radian since domain for x is 0 to 2 pi. Now, when is sine half? So, this triangle is 30, 60, 90 or in radians, what do we say? This is pi by 3, this is pi by 6, and that is 90, right? So that is the triangle of our interest. Perfect? So this is the second thing which you should know. Third thing which you should know is what domain to work on. Well, of course, we are given x is from 0 to 2 pi. But remember, this is sine 2x. So that makes it very tricky. So x is between 0 and 2 pi. How about 2x? 2x should be between. We have to multiply these by 2. So we get a modified domain for 2x, and which is between 0 to 4 pi. You get the idea. So 0 to 4 pi really means this is our first solution. That's the second solution, correct? These are the two solutions within 0 to 2 pi. Now when we consider 4 pi, that means we are considering the solution which is one circle here and then also which is this circle. So we are expecting four solutions. Do you get that part? So if you miss the later two solutions, you have only done half of the question right. You may not even get half the marks. That is important to understand. So I hope all the concepts are now clear. And let us see how to solve this question, right? So let's begin with the equation given to us, which is sine 2x equals to half. As soon as you see this, you should modify the domain. So 2x is between 0 and 4 pi. Now, when 2x is between 0 to 2 pi, what are the possible values of 2x for sine 2x to be half? Now, clearly, from here, sine is half when you're looking from pi by 6, right? So, so that is the opposite side. We know sine is opposite over hypotenuse, correct? So 1 over 2. So the angle is pi by 6. So this angle here is pi by 6, correct? The other angle in this quadrant will be, now pi is 6 pi by 6, think like this. So that one is 5 pi by 6, correct? 1 less than 6 pi by 6. So that is, we get the first two solution which is 
pi by 6 and we also get 5 pi by 6. Now we need to get 2 more. How are you going to get 2 more? We have to add 2 pi to this, right? You have to add 2 pi. Easy way to add 2 pi is in terms of fraction of 6 as 12 pi by 6. So if I add 12 pi by 6, I get the other 2. 12 plus 1 is 13, so we get 13 pi by 6. And 12 plus 5 is 17, 17 pi by 6. Do you get this part? So for the second circle, we added 2 pi. 2 pi is equal to 12 pi by 6. Do you see that? It's like 2 pi by 1. Multiply by 2, you get 12 pi by 6. Now it's easy. Just add 12 to the numerator, what denominator of 6. So you get possible values of 2x, right? So don't leave the question here. The actual answer is to find x. So we'll go one more step. And so x is divide these by 2. So we get pi by 12, 5 pi by 12, 13 pi by 12, and 17 pi by 12 as four answers. So we have four solutions to this particular question. I hope that concept is clear, right? So note, for this, we have, as expected, four solutions. Perfect. Now I'll change this question from sine to cosine and let's see if you could do it. So let's move on and take our practice question. Now here is a question for you to practice. You need to solve cos 3x equals to minus square root 2 over 2, where again x is between 0 to 2 pi. So how are you going to solve? Let's look into our strategy. What are we expecting? Well, cos negative, right? Do you see this negative part? So cos is negative in these two quadrants. Perfect. So we are expecting solution in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3 this time. Since we know that all are positive here, sine is positive in quadrant 2, tan in 3 and cosine in 4. So cos is negative in quadrant 2 and 3. Perfect. That is first part. And then we also note that we are talking about 3x. We are given x between 0 and 2 pi. So what will happen to 3x? We have to multiply this by 3. 3x will be between 0 to 6 pi. Do you see that? 0 to 6 pi means we have how many solutions? 2 in 2 pi. Then in 6 pi we are expecting 6 solutions. Do you get the idea? Right? So we are expecting six solutions. Now, which is the special triangle we are looking for? Square root 2 over 2 reminds you of pi by 4, right? So that is the triangle we are looking for. Perfect. So if each side is square root 2, then the hypotenuse is 2. This square plus this square, square root. And the angle here is pi by 4. Perfect. Now, when you are adding pi by 4, right, when you're counting in terms of pi by 4, in that case, 2 pi could be written as 8 pi by 4. So, we will add 8 pi by 4 to our solutions to get 6 solutions starting from the first 2. You get the idea. Perfect. So, let's begin. So, we have cos 3x equals to minus square root 2 over 2. Now that means that 3x should be equal to, we are looking for solutions in quadrant 2 and 3. Each angle is pi by 4, right? So for pi by 4, this is pi by 4, this is 2 pi by 4, this is 3 pi by 4, this is 4 pi by 4, this is 5 pi by 4. So the two solutions are 3 pi by 4, this is in quadrant 2, and 5 pi by 4, which is in quadrant 3. 
Now we have to go two more circles, right? So we got a solution which is here and then there. But we need to go full circle, come back to these points and then again go full circle and come back to these points to get all the six solutions. That is to say, we need to add 8 pi by 4 now. Perfect. So this is what we are going to add to our solutions to get other four solutions. So 8 plus 3, 8 plus 3 is 11. We get 11 pi by 4. 8 plus 5 is 13. Then again we'll add 8, so we get 19 pi by 4 and 8 plus 13 as 21 pi by 4. Do you see that part? So that is how we are going to get our solutions. Now, x is what? This is 3x. So the answer is x is equal to, we are going to divide them by 3 now. Correct? So dividing 3 by 3 is 1. So we get pi by 4 for the first one. Here, 5 pi by 12. Then, 11 by 12. 13 pi by 12. 19 pi by 12 and 21 could be divided by 3 7 right so we could write this as 7 pi by 4 do you see that part so that is how you get 1 2 3 4 5 6 solutions and that becomes the solution set for the given question so i hope the concept is clear so remember one thing that is whenever we need to solve in a particular domain any trigonometric equation we should actually modify the domain as per the question right so modify domain and find all possible solutions perfect that is key to get good marks in trigonometry. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Now I'll share with you list of videos on this particular topic with really intricate examples. And I hope that will help you a lot to get good marks in your own test. Thanks for watching and all the best.